Hey YouTubies, a second here. Gotta reposition the camera. There we go. Hello YouTube, welcome back. No, you've been gone for a little while. <laughs> we have. Okay, we got tonight. We have curried shrimp with rice, um, scallops, and some plain shrimp. Can you see that or not? And I have one rib, and he has two ribs. These are leftover ribs from a restaurant we went to the other day. Barbecue ribs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. Haven't been feeling well. Been having a lot of health problems. Both of us. Diana, yeah. come here. Oh. Where'd you go? Come here, Diana. Yeah. Gotta get a picture for her. Okay. This little girl is Diana. She's getting a lot more grown up now. She's been fixed. She's really pretty sweet. And she's trying to catch the other half. <laughs> now this one has a nickname of Little Stinker. Because she will walk up, stick her butt in your face and rip one. And oh my goodness, did they stink. We are talking stink. And this one's Bruce. Yep. I'm sure Vicky explained why his name is Bruce. Yep. He kind of looks like he's got a little mask on and the back looks like a cape. And he's very lovable. But we almost lost him because he found him one of our pills and tried to eat it. Got sick. Yeah, well, so, my pills. Basically had to keep him active for a couple of hours, you know, so his blood pressure wouldn't drop too much. Yeah, hep C. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they stink. They stink so much. I thought about a product for cats. Anti-diarrhea, anti-gas for pets. But they're doing better since you switched food on them. Yeah, that we were giving them um, one of the better foods, and they had diarrhea non-stop. Yeah. And gas like non-stop. I was like, it was like too rich for them or something. Yeah. Something and Vicky like was like, why did they do that? Why did they come over and fart on us? It's like, <laughs> well, think about it. There are babies. Gassy lassies. They come over and fart because they're hurting, and they want us to help take care of the pain. They fart. They feel better. So they're like, thanks, Ma. Thanks, Dad. Gonna leave because it stinks over here, and I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, one of them walked up. Yeah, it was Diana, wasn't it? That walked up and farted in your face that one time. Which time? Okay, several times. Eat your food. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought I'd share a funny story because <laughs> I thought that was funny and I've been wanting to share that one. Yeah, they are a little strange, but they're doing better on not being this. I think all I had all to do with the food they were eating. Yeah, we switched foods, no more runs. Parts are ninety percent gone, and the other food they stink. I mean, they come up and just stink. The previous food we have on, there's like special kitty, no, not special kitty, not nine lives or something like that. The little short cans, yay wide. It make your bodies just reek. Mm -hmm. Even when they weren't farting. Yeah, nothing freakier than I'm asleep, all of a sudden my nose is being licked, and I don't know what I was dreaming about, when you're, but when your nose is being licked in the middle of a dream, and then you wake up and there is this cat in your face licking your nose. That's how he wakes me up to tell me, feed me! <laughs> mm, you will lick my nose. Barely chew on my fingers. You know, letting me know. You know, we're hungry. So we try to take care of our babies. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. I was nervous about it because I never had curry before. That was nothing. That one, one time. time. Yeah, the one time we went to an Indian buffet. Yeah, we went to a, a sushi place. The service was so bad. I mean, we waited for half an hour before we even got drinks. Most of the tables were filthy. Our waitress was up front goofing off, yakking her mouth. And there's nobody else in the restaurant but mm -hmm. him and I, and one other couple. That was it. But yeah, couldn't get service. 
So we ended up leaving. We got our drinks and we just got fed up. That yeah, went next door and, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. an Indian restaurant we went to. It was the next door. Yeah, my legs are still caught up like there's no tomorrow. There's a kitty claws. Yeah. Debating on whether or not to get them fixed or declawed. We had to get them fixed because brother and sister, same house now. Yeah, that was a no go there. <laughs> we're not thrilled about getting them declawed. We're trying. We're going to try to um, get clippers and go that route first. But and maybe even try some other methods. We're just worried about. Um, Declawing would be a last resort because we're worried about his legs being caught up so much and then infection getting in and being diabetic and all. Yeah, because they walk through their kitty pan, so in other words, they got poop on their feet all the time, so there's nothing you can do about that unless you wash their feet every time for them. I'm sure that wouldn't go over too well. Well, it's funny because one slipped in the tub. <laughs> yeah, they, they came in the bathtub with me while I'm taking a shower. They're not that much afraid of water. Mm hmm Strange kitties. Yeah. But we never had kitties like that before that weren't afraid of water. All the others, and, oh, when we got one to go take them and get them fixed. We are supposed to have had them in two carriers. But, and I had three kitty carriers out in the shed when we moved in with mom and dad. Somehow, <clears throat> thanks to dad, Two of them had disappeared because he gives, he likes to give stuff away that's not his to make himself feel good. Mm -hmm. So two of my kitty carriers had disappeared. So I did, and the rule was, that's gross. Each one had been, no that's actually Diana. Okay, Diana. Each one was supposed to be in their separate carriers when we take them over to get them fixed. But didn't have a second one. Tried to borrow one from a friend, and I don't know what happened there. I think she's she old, and I think she got things confused. I don't know what happened there. So we didn't end up being able to borrow a kitty carrier from her. So we put them in one kitty car carrier. It's a nice size one. And we bought a cloth dog kennel thing to help transport them if we had to, if they wouldn't approve of that. Surprisingly, we got to the office, the vet office. What are you doing? I told them to be an army. But, um, we go over to the vet office and they let us keep them in one carrier because they had rode over um, the 45 minute drive to the vet office really well, laid down and was really calm and everything. Bruce, get down. It's Diana. Diana. Well, usually it's Bruce that's being the ornery one. She can't tell there's one cat and another. Well, no, not really. They're both black and white. When you're looking quickly. Diana. Diana. Down. Squirt balls come in handy. <laughs> but, um... Oh, they rode over. They rode over the uh, drive better than any cats we've ever had in what? Ever. Twenty-two years that we've had cats together, and I never had cats that rode that like that before. Even when I met him, these two rode perfect. They lay down together in the kitty carrier and basically snuggled and went to sleep. Got them over there and just thinking it was going to get a hard time for them to be in the same carrier. So I, I took the kennel, cloth kennel in, in case. They were right with them being together because they were behaving so well and not wrestling around or anything. I guess a lot of cats don't get along. Get, you know, do well and box stuff like that together. It was too perfect. And even on the way home, they were perfect. They, they both were not feeling good because they just having surgery, of course. They both lay down together, facing each other most of the time, and 
zonked out. Mm-hmm. If I can play, though. Mm-hmm. According to the instructions we got, they were supposed to have stayed in the, their little kennel at least four hours and mostly in a kennel for like 24 hours. I couldn't keep them in there. They were fighting to get out. So I, we put the kennel up on the bed and let them out. And they did their wandering around a little bit around the house. And then they came and snuggled, settled down. I think if I left them in the kennel, I think they would have hurt themselves. Mm -hmm. The way they were trying to get out. Yeah, Bruce is my buddy and Diana's hers. Mm -hmm. Well, they come up and they like to snuggle. Hi, Bruce. Mm -hmm. well, they're both our buddies, but Bruce favors him mostly and she does me. Mm. Let's try this again. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not going to get through this whole plate where I eat like a toddler anymore, but where I'm going to enjoy what I can. Mm. Here, weather's nice, a bit rainy. Feel sorry for Florida, you know. Keep them in your heart, too. And the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Well, those are good. They're actually better now than they were the other day when we went to the restaurant. Yeah, I know. They were dry that day. I put, I put them in just a little bit of butter. And, you know, put the lid on and help steam cook them in a little bit of butter. Mm. So much more flavor this time. Would you leave the cords alone? I love you, but good grief, girl. I love you, but I'm going to get after you for your stuff your brother does and get after your brother for stuff you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Dad had to go to the hospital ER a couple weeks ago. Again. Yeah, again. Come find out he has pneumonia still or again. I'm not sure which. He went to the hospital ER back in March for pneumonia and never took most of his medications so he's not really re ever recovered from it yeah it's funny because i heard him arguing her, his, her mom is like you need to take your pills and i don't want to take pills all the time i want to have a real life i don't want to take pills all the time and i'm thinking you ain't having a real life the way you're hacking coughing and ready to pass out most of the time that's horrible boy. Well, they, but mostly him right now, hacking and coughing. I'm pretty sure she has pneumonia still also. She's never gone to the doctor for it, but I'm pretty sure she has pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And I can't get them talked into either her going to the doctor or him taking his meds. Ugh. He has antibiotics, anti biotics he's supposed to take, he won't take them. So. Yeah, they forced him to stay in the hospital last time overnight, and he threw, was throwing a fit, crying. Yeah, there's, he's supposed to stay in at least three days, at least. I think he stayed in... One night. Oh, yeah, one night. Because it's going to be a matter of time before he's got to go to the hospital again for this same thing. Yep. I actually thought it was going to be him going to the hospital for dehydration. But to find out, it was pneumonia this time again. Yeah, because he is really bad about not drinking water or anything. Yeah. And then wonders why he's sick. Mm-hmm. So... If he keeps going the way he's going with that hacking cough, I don't see him lasting much longer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's gotten bad. Especially when he tried to lay down last night. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, you 
turn the washer on. That's what I'm hearing. I thought I was going to wait until after the video. No. I was surprised you didn't just turn it off. I didn't hear it until just now. It's been running the whole time. Sorry, guys. She's a bit dingy sometimes. No, I just was so focused on getting the food ready that I actually didn't hear it until just now. Sorry. Medications really don't do me good. And they had a new insurance representative and she was calling about my insulin. I thought she was going to crawl through the phone having a screaming fit when she found out how much insulin I take. All right. I will tell you, there's no way you can take that much insulin in a day. It's like I've been doing it for eight years and I ain't dead yet. She was... If she could have, she would have come through that phone while she was yelling. And I don't think any... Uh, health, anybody. Well, anybody, but particularly anybody you know, health-related should be yelling at their uh, patients that way. Just saying. But, yeah. She was fussing because of how much it takes and come find out when well, you talked to the nurses at the office the other day and they said that she was a new girl. Mm -hmm. Didn't know his uh, health history and everything. Yeah, they explained that I'm a very unusual and unique person. My sugar goes higher than most people can survive. I mean, it's taking its toll on my body, but I did a nine-day fast, and it was supposed to be a ten-day fast, but the last day was Mother's Day, and we took Vicki out because, you know, appreciation for all the things she does for me. Mm -hmm. Love you. And, but nine-day fast, that was pretty good. I mean, she was like, well, what are you eating? And I'm like thinking... Um, last nine days? Nothing. <laughs> that would, I mean, the doctors would just go into a, a freak. And the dietitian specialist who tells me what I should eat and not what I, and what I shouldn't eat, they, you haven't eaten nothing in nine days? Like, well, cut my insulin down, so I'm actually, next time I can see the doctor, if I can ever get an appointment, yeah. I will have my insulin readjusted, because I don't need as much. I mean, there's it's starting to fill up in the refrigerator, which is funny because there's been times I ran out because they wouldn't give me enough insulin. So the nurses are like, hold off for a couple months, get a supply up. Probably donate some of it to the clinic that we go to. what I did before when I had a whole bunch. Yeah, full. Full of it? Yep. I eat like a, I was going to say like a bird, but I eat more like a toddler lately. You know, barely eat. I can get full on cheese, McDonald's cheeseburger even. So, I'm surprised I actually ate this much so far. Excuse me. <laughs> No, in case anybody's wondering, it's not because I've been drinking a little bit too. I've gone, there's been times I've actually ate without drinking anything, trying to get through a meal like that. I still get full really quick. So, yep, she's full of it. I'm going to have to eat little tiny micro meals now just to make sure I get my calories in. If I get chance, so I'm planning on doing, I'll get things organized a little bit is um, doing little video clips or something of what I eat in a week, which isn't much. You could put it all on this one table pretty easily. Probably half this table. So yeah. Compared to what, what a lot of muckbungers eat, 
You know, mm -hmm. how they eat ah, so meals. Mine's just a usually a itty bitty little saucer size of whatever I need. Well, I try to be funny. <laughs> fat man's supposed to be funny. I know I'm not great at being funny because I wasn't always fat. <laughs> but I'm fat now, so I guess that automatically makes me funny. So okay. laugh, okay? <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes. Yeah, it was funny because like when we left the one barbecue restaurant, some lady was goofing off, acting like she was hitchhiking. And I pulled over and said, I've already got one hitchhike, one red hat, one redhead. The last thing I need is to double up on the crazy. <laughs> so she start, started talking to us and thing about how she's Scottish, full blood Scot, Scottish or something else. Scottish and Irish or something like that. But her, she traced her history back to one of the kings of something. I don't remember. Yeah, and I told her my family name and it's like, we're probably related. <laughs> Odds are we might be. Okay. Family name on my mom's side is Roach, so and that's a very famous Irish name. talking to you again YouTube. Hope the funny was funny. Um, hopefully if you keep her feeling a little bit better we'll keep making videos on a regular basis again. Yeah, I was noticing today that I think this is the we I haven't actually cooked a meal at home to do my fun with since June. So. I haven't feel, been feeling up to it with the medications they put me on. It knocked me out. I slept you know, 18 to 23 hours for like three weeks straight, literally. So, and then I'm, from there, I'm having eating issues where I barely eat. I was only eating like 250 calories a day. Excuse me. Doing a little bit better now on that. But, um,. Because I just have no energy, no motivation. So I'm just not, just kind of eh, blah. So I'm working on it. I'm actually proud of myself that I actually finally cooked a home cooked meal again. Actually, she did all of it. Yeah. I'm sure she needed help. It's like, nope. I've missed doing videos, it just, it's been hard to get motivated back into it. Because some days at night time, I think, okay, tomorrow I want to do this and this and this. And then I get up and I'm like, mm, I don't feel up to it. And then I, at night, again, I kick myself in the butt thinking, okay, tomorrow I want to do this and this and this. And I just keep going that little cycle. So today I broke the cycle at least a little bit. Finally. And it was even harder though when I was eating less because I had kind of a, especially the, when I first started taking the new medications the doctor put me on, any thought of thought or smell of food made me kind of feel nauseous and queasy. So, thankfully that's over. I hated the idea that I was sleeping so much, but man, I got some good sleep those three weeks. <laughs> Probably the best sleep I've had in years. Literally. You've messied your shirt. Mm -hmm. It's your fault. How is it my fault? It w you made messy food. 
Can you get bib for you? Sure. Can't be bib. Here's what I need to do. I need to get a bib for him that says, Messy Marvin. Messy Anthony. Hair you did. Mm. On my nose, I mean. Put shrimp on your nose? No. No, you put shrimp up your nose. No. Then what do you want me to do with the shrimp? Eat it. Oh, okay. Head. No, you. She, she can't make up her mind. I made up my mind. Stick it in your mouth and behave. What? Can't say what I'm thinking. We're on YouTube. <laughs> mm. Some people will figure it out. A lot won't. <laughs> Thank goodness that thing finally shut off. I wish I realized that you had that on. Told you I didn't wanted to wait until after the video. I didn't hear you. I said it like two or three times. Couldn't hear you. Over the nose of the washing machine. See what I go through. See what I go through. Slack of hearing. Mm-hmm. Do you do any of you ladies go through that, or even any of you guys, if you're with a partner, ever deal with that? The slack of hearing. What you say something? I'm going to flip food at you. Scallops kind of bland. They need something. Yeah, I tried. I cooked them in um, lemon and honey, but that didn't seem to... Oh, I was going to put cilantro on the whole thing, too. I forgot. Oh, well. That's what I was forgetting. You distracted me, and I forgot. It's not my fault I'm such a hot and sexy guy that I distract you so easily. You're really when we show my sexiness, I could stand here and take my shirt off, but some people <laughs> might I'd gouge their eyes out. Or... See what happens when I threaten to take off my shirt? The camera <laughs> says, oh, no, I ain't got to see that. <laughs> so protecting the rest of you. Yeah, I don't know if I even got onto the video, but he was... The, the ending of that other, my other phone, it, I ran out of memory space or whatever. But, um... Big guy, a lot of memory. Behave. You're like sliding down. I'm not sliding. The camera is. I know. That's the way you set it up. No. Anywho. But yeah, he was starting to take his shirt off and show everybody be my massive sexiness. And the camera said, Nope. Don't want to see that. <laughs> we ain't going there. <laughs> um. oh, it's hot in here. Mm hmm. I'm sleepy now. Yeah, you gotta finish the rest of yourself. And you're sick of the table. Yeah, but you still gotta finish yours. I'm full. I can't. You ate most of it. That's the rest is yours. Yeah, I ate most of it. The rest is yours because it's I your food. Can't eat anymore. I'll explode like a the bird on Shrek. No, you won't. Yeah, uh huh? Start shoveling. I guarantee you won't explode. Funny to watch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that would not be funny. You're right. I have to do it in your parents' bathroom. Behave. What? Until she's spacing off. You're being gross. I'm. Never mind. I'm going to behave. I'm going to behave. I'm going to behave. No, you're not. You're crazy redhead. Because you drive me crazy. Yeah. Because you can't drive yourself. I can't, too. <laughs> okay, get in the van and start driving somewhere. I can drive. I just don't have my license right now. Yeah. I'm not legal right now. Because you can't drive. I can, too, drive. Behave. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Bye-bye, YouTube. <laughs> nice talking to everybody. And hi, Oshie. <laughs> and Bubba. And Melissa.
Uh, and the rest of them. Richard, Alyssa, and RJ. And sorry we haven't been on here for quite some time. And the lady from Idaho. Yep. People from Utah. People from Florida. People from the United States. People from wherever. Like our northern neighbors up in Canada. Our southern neighbors down in Mexico. See, she's crazy. Just a psychopathic urge that can't be explained. Driving me crazy. Anyway. I think the kids are taking a nap because I don't hear them ruckus. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take off. Me too, in just a second here. So, yeah, we're, um, we'll catch you later. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the links down below. And we will see you again soon. So. And hit the notifications bell and. Yeah, that's what I basically just said. You said like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Somebody knocked the phone, the, not the phone, the, um, uh, clock off on the ground. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, I'll get it. So, anywho, bye-bye, y'all. It drives me crazy. Just say Hey, Brad, where are you going?